Hello everyone, I've got eight linear rails that need to be lubricated and I'm going to demonstrate how I went about doing that. These high wind rails are going into a Voron 2.4 3D printer that I'm building. I'm going to use white lithium grease to lubricate these linear rails and you may be asking why. So I took a look at the high wind documentation for linear guideways and guidelines on how to lubricate. It states linear guideways must be lubricated with lithium soap-based grease before installation. The document does specify other lubricants for different conditions. It also states that we've got to relube the guideway after every 100 kilometers. Um, I'm assuming it's going to take a while to reach that. And grease is good as long as speeds don't exceed 60 meters a minute or 1,000 millimeters a second. I do not intend on running the printer faster than that. In addition, this will be a heated environment, and so I feel the grease holds up better than oil. In another high wind document, it clearly states that the MG series are delivered already protected. This is with a layer of oil. An initial lubrication is carried out in three steps. I'll be using a syringe as a grease gun and after inserting the grease move the block three times about three block lengths each time and then repeat this procedure twice. And we'll know we have enough grease when we can see a film layer of the grease and if not we repeat. I'm using a blunt tip syringe as my grease gun that I've filled with white lithium grease and the needle thickness is just about 1.23 millimeters on the outside. And again, this is a blunt tip, and you can simply purchase these online. To insert the grease, the linear carriages have a small hole. Uh, there's actually one on each side, and that is where we will insert the blunt tip needle and insert the grease. To prepare, we simply open the syringe and take our tube of grease and start to squeeze. And you can see it slowly come out into the syringe. You don't really need a lot. We're not going to use a huge amount of grease. And that's probably pretty good. Although if you're going to do the entire Voron, probably need a little more. So just reinsert the plunger and give it a little push. Get rid of some of that airspace. And it's probably worthwhile to squeeze just a little bit more to get a little bit out. And we'll clean the tip off. And it's ready to go. I wiped off the protective oil uh, using a paper towel and then we'll use our syringe and insert the tip into the hole. When you're older with poor vision, this is a little more difficult. <laughs> so I'm moving this back and forth a little bit as I squeeze the grease in. I want to start to see where some of the grease starts to come out um, on the bearings or on the sides on the slide itself. And there I see a little bit, and so I pop the needle out. And now I'm flipping the guide around, um, and there you can see some of the grease. White lithium is nice, it's very visible. And I'm flipping it around so now I can get the other side of the carriage. And I'm basically going to do the exact same thing, just squeeze the grease in until I start to see some of it appear. Because such a small amount of grease comes out of the syringe, this actually takes longer than you'd expect. I've actually cut out parts of the video here to make this go a little bit faster. But here you can see uh, some of the grease has come out, and we can see it coming out on the edges here. I'm wiping the carriage ends here just to keep it kind of neat and clean, and the syringe as well. And. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit more here. I think it could use a little more. And 
And here we can see some of it come out of the hole, so I'm stopping and again cleaning up to try and keep it neat. So I still don't see much grease coming out here, so I am going to go for it again and add more. And moving it back, I see some of the grease coming out now. So measuring off roughly three carriage lengths, moving it back and forth about three times, allowing us to work the grease into the rail and the bearings. And we can see the grease distributing itself right here. And according to the manual, we're supposed to do this about two more times, or at least until we get a satisfactory film all over. I'm going to save you from watching all of this. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do this several more times, and I'm going to assume you will too. And once you've done that, continue doing this until you cover the entire rail. Um, I ended up flipping the rails around and taking care of the opposite end, and I found, for the most part, moving the carriage back and forth across the entire rail after that was done seemed to evenly distribute the grease. I ended up doing one more time in addition to that, and I'm assuming once I get this 3D printer assembled, I'll probably do it once more.